Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. So yeah, off screen I leveled up. <laughs> we unlocked some stuff. Probably should have dwelled on that screen a little bit longer. But yeah, it's mostly stuff I'm not going to use at the moment, like oil makers and speed grow and stuff. But yeah, we got a bit done. I organized our house a little bit better. This will, this will be our equipment. Um, this will be stuff we can place, and this will be like wallpapers and flooring and stuff like that. Uh, ooh. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Ooh, bread! Oh. Wait, I got some stuff on me, huh? So yeah, I tried fishing for a catfish like right before I went to sleep again, and no luck. But we did have a bunch of stuff we could sell. Um, yeah, so now we've got um, sea forage and river forage. And I just put the garbage in here because there's less stuff. But um, the I'll have like one of each kind of fish, but they will bleed over into the forage. And there will be just enough space for them that way. Yeah. And I moved... Sweet peas into forage number two. That's forage number one. And over in the corner is the stuff that we don't put in the fridge. So an egg and bread. And the fridge mostly has stuff that is actually made properly. I feel like I was looking at an ice cream somewhere. But it was not meant to be. Back in the fridge. 17, damn. And yeah, I don't know really what we're going to do with this stuff out here, but um, I removed all the forage from here, so this is just seeds and excess now. And that's also where we put our farming, like, quick grow fertilizers and stuff like that, and I guess this is just excess crops. Um, only a hundred wood left though, that sucks. No change here. Um, just seeds and just random crap now. What am I doing? Oh yeah. So the enemy drops are now in the river forage, just because it's easier. Chop you in with the seeds. All right. Who sent us a letter? Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money can buy. Oh, dude, that's our Iridium Rod. Tonight around 10 o'clock, a rare, beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing. Oh, heck yeah. Alright. Taking the day off, are you, Robin? <laughs> Probably just not here yet. Oh, man. It rained for so many days in a row, and like, now I'm used to crops watering themselves, so I'm a bit bummed out. Best not forget the kitty. So yeah, unless I get it off the roaming trader, it looks like we ain't getting blueberries till next year. <sighs> it's a pain in the ass. But in saying that, she randomly rotates her inventory a lot, so we've still got a decent chance that she might do that and we'll get lucky. Fact, I might go check her in a moment. Yeah, screw it, I'm doing it now. All this other stuff can wait. Because <laughs> we are going and getting that new rod, my god. And this is the last day of summer as well, so we've got to do a forage run. And maybe go and check the shop for seeds. Hey girl! Fruit salad, sandfish. 
the right kind of Nautilus shell. Mead, a house plant, a cactus fruit. Like, that's important, but I don't think it's important yet. Sandfish, though. Oh no, we're good. Well, I'll check our last run of Fiddlewood Ferns. We don't have to worry about the hardwood, because that'll keep appearing. Get out of here. Alright. Jeez, the last day of summer, you'd think they'd have a couple. Or at least one. Yeah, I'd say we just got lucky on the days that we did. <coughs> Man, our best fishing rod, finally. I wonder if it's the amount of fish we've caught, or the amount we've leveled up. Or maybe he just does it right near the end of summer regardless, because I've done a lot of fishing, man. Like, a lot. Dance on the Moonlight Jellies. I do really love just, like, the wholesome events, and that... It's one of the most wholesome events. Wait. I was gonna say, that's a spice berry hidden there. That's awesome. <laughs> Troll AF. But it wasn't. Alright. I know at some point I'm gonna have to fish for a freaking Eldorado or whatever they're called. Dorado? I think they're just called a Dorado. <laughs> hey Jess, do we have anything we can give you? No, screw it. It's all good. Yoink! <laughs> Pretty sure that's where my bread came from. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Alright, well, we're not buying our fishing rod today, then. Oh man, that fucking sucks. Do we have that more Nautilus shell on us? We do. Alright, cool. I'm gonna head to... Um... Community center, but this will be a good excuse to have a look around. Sorry, Linus, ain't got much to give you, buddy, but don't you worry. Hey, wait! Oh, I don't have that bread. That sucks. And I don't want to give him stuff because, like, I gave him some stuff and he got mad. I think I gave him a spice berry or a field snack or something. Yeah, he did not like that. On the second, we've got. Penny's birthday coming up. Field research. Oh yeah. Oh nice. So we need a fair bit more stuff. Need to get some, um... Oh, dude, we got 6,000 bucks. That's nearly enough to build our barn. I'll take you, thank you very much. You might be the last one we get. Let's head into Pierre's while they're still open. Okay, melon seeds we're probably good for. Blueberry I know we're good for. tempting to buy a tree. It's better to wait. So 
otherwise it's going to be a waste and it's not going to be our main version of a tree. <laughs> I wish there was like running shoes, but they'd probably just tie them to your energy meter and that would be a pain in the ass. Yep. The only problem with putting a path up around to Robin's place is that stuff won't grow where I put the path anymore. But that's just what it is. It is what it is. Um, alright. So, forage. What goes in here? The mushies. Uh, the spice berries. Uh... I know hops isn't forage, but I'm trying to put it away from the other stuff so I don't accidentally use it. I sort of tie the house together a bit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, we got a second recycling machine, so that's good. This stuff. You know, I actually might move that stuff to the ocean at some point. Um, no, but I will take out you. You. Fuck, we got 22 of those already. You guys can go in here. the ones that I don't know if he's got the anchor the fan maybe wait what am I talking about just take them all screw it if I'm going that way Ooh, oh crap we ran out of freaking time I was gonna say I should go and smash the shit out of some geodes damn tone all right, we're pretty much killing time till the festival anyway. I know we've got one, but I just need to stash it just in case, you know. We do have some stuff. Oh, we are not putting in that dino egg. My damn egg, man. Ooh, a record. Alright. Four o'clock. So we got six hours to kill. I might even just run around to the mines. I was wondering what that was behind the sign, and I was like, oh yeah, those little torches I put frickin' everywhere. Cookies can stay, you go, you go, you go, whoops, you stay. You go, 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 you go. Um, okay, break for... So I can go there, cookies are... Covered. Pantry. We've only got three, so hopefully that's enough to last us. Um, Alright, cool. Oh yeah. Guess I better finish watering our damn crops, huh? Man, it's 
gonna be so interesting when, like, we've done all the stuff. Man, it's a real shame that we didn't get a single frickin' blueberry. I wonder what happened there. Did I plant them? And... I don't know. I swear, like, I prepared for them, but just didn't actually end up getting to plant them, I guess. There are other ways to get the things, so we just have to cross our fingers. In all honesty, it's pretty hard to get the greenhouse the first year, but, um... I'm assuming that our best bet will be the lady that comes and sells the stuff. Would have been real nice of her to have a blueberry there today. <laughs> Look at all this stuff that's definitely going to be dead tomorrow. Whoops, nearly lost a radish. Nearly lost two. Okay. Where do the radishes go? We really don't have that many. There we go. We've at least got three of each kind. So that's not too bad. Okay, I guess. Um, well, we got some time to kill, so... We haven't got long. So I'll just head up this way. I got the mushrooms today, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna head up this way to Robin's place, because that's near the, um, the minecart anyway. Just to double check the forage along the way. And we'll get in some river fishing before we head off to the Festival of the Moonlight Jellies. Oh crap, I've got all of the frickin' salmon berries on me. That's not meant to be that way, I'm supposed to have a mini stack. Well, <clears throat> I don't know if we're gonna get any fishing in. A little bit sad that our stack didn't get over a hundred for the first year for salmon berries, but they'll be back in season next year. And by then we'll have unlocked enough stuff that um, we'll be getting three berries from every spot. So much clay in the last day or three. I did when I did go into the mines and get a nice little chunk of iron as well, iron ore. Yeah, screw it. We did all we could. We go town. We wait. All right. Time flows differently at events. Hey, Evelyn, how are you? I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. That was a long time ago. I'm a lot less energetic now. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to those blasted mosquitoes. Yeah, every day's summer in Australia, buddy. I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Minus. You ain't bothering anyone, man. And to be honest, like, in some parts of the world, people might regard you as just some homeless dude living off the land, but uh, that's not that uncommon here in Australia. People have money, they choose to do it. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. Yeah. 
Ooh, it's past my bedtime. Hey, did you see that candle boat? I crafted it myself. Nice. The Moonlight Jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their journey south. It's unknown why they attract they are attracted to light. Very curious. Indeed. Hey Leah. Hey, I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. Yep. The days just keep going and they keep keep on coming. Hey, wizard boy. How did you know to find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I'm here to observe the Lunaloos, or Moonlight Jellies, as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. Hmm. <coughs> Man. Ooh, buddy. Decals, rugs, bunch of stuff that's expensive and unnecessary. I'll get that stuff next year. I kind of a little bit want this though. I'll get the one thing. These candles are romantic, aren't they? I mean, I guess they are. Psst. Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. Hey, Penny. Life is so easy for a jellyfish, just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Well, I guess you're right. I want to see the rare green jelly. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Just trying to scare you. I wonder if they're poisonous. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. Such a rare and exciting thing. I should have brought my camera. I always forget. I can't believe summer's over. I feel like... It just started. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing like that. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. I hope there are babies this year. There! I just saw something glowing! Oh, it's gone. Look out there, at the endless sea, deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? I mean, I guess. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Sorry, Clint. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. It's true. Is true. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. <clears throat> I want my rod, damn it. Good evening, Shade. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. What do you think? Should I launch the boat the boat now? Yes! Come. To keep an eye out for a rare green one. Hey, buddy. A squishy. 
You're my squishy. You are all my squishies. Man. It's a bit sad living in the big city. Oh, that's the baby ones! Because, like, I don't know, I don't feel a sense of community anymore. My home is my home, but, you know, I don't do thing. Oh, is that the rare green one? Cool. Coming right up to me. Hey, buddy. You heard me say I wanted to see you, huh? Pretty. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown. I guess so. Uh, hmm. I wonder if we've got anything we can sell. Nah. But, so I don't forget. In. Uh, nah. That's better. All right. Didn't miss anything on TV, did I? Whoops. Just bread. Just bread. Okay. Welcome to living off the land. Sunflowers, huh? Well, the corn stayed. That's quite a lot of corn, too. I sure do wish just a little bit of here was blueberries that were ripe still somehow. This is pretty funny having a harvest like the first day of fall, but I do like multi-season crops for that reason. Okay. shortly. <clears throat> we'll do the mushrooms. And we can finally go and do some fall forage too. Hell yeah. It's a Monday though, so... Well, the lady won't be down there selling anything, but we can finally go and get our iridium fishing rod. I feel like you've been working on that coop for longer than you were my house there, Robin. Not to critique your work or anything, I'm just saying that's what it feels like. This season, I need to get our orchid in the ground, so as soon as that, um, that coop is up, I'm going to focus on putting a fence around it, and then I'll know where I can build our, um, Boink. I know where we can build our little mini line of trees and stuff like that. <laughs> oh yeah, the common mushrooms are a forage and fall. Fair enough. Hmm. 
not a lot of day one forage, I tell ya. Okay. Well, let's go and get our fishing rod at least. Mmm, blackberries, my favorite. Oh no, we're not going to focus on the fishing rod. Well, we will grab the fishing rod since it's on our way, but that's going to drop us down like two grand at least. I hope it's only two grand. Ooh. Hey, Penny. Hi, uh, are you doing okay? I am. Hello, Mayor Lewis. Some of the townsfolk are wary of strangers. You'll have to win their trust before they open up to you. Uh, that's the mark of a decent human being, man. Because, like, being naive is a bit silly. I should know. I am naive. Seven and a half grand, you motherfucker. Well, we ain't getting that yet. Not for a while, either. It'll probably be the next thing we buy, though. First day of autumn, or as the Americans say, fall. You know, because the leaves fall on the ground. Yeah, I prefer autumn. It sounds cooler. Hello, Shade. Hello, Elliot. Well, I guess on the plus side, we saved a bunch of extra space for uh, opening a billion frickin' geodes really do have quite a few. Process them geodes. Uh, we'll get the frozen ones first, and then the magma ones. So far it is exclusively poop. That's one bar worth of iridium right there. drum inside a geode. You wait right here, Clint. We'll be right back. Just desperately gotta go through your garbage. Oh, there's a little pumpkin on the little stand that was selling ice cream. That's awesome. Oh, buddy. Have I got some stuff for you. Apparently, didn't have one of these. color code this stuff better, I think. Yeah, I have not color coded this stuff properly at all. I think after Penny's birthday, I might do a little bit of a cut ahead, maybe. I don't know, we'll see how we go. Ooh, 
I see you there. I'm coming back for you, buddy. Don't you frickin' worry about that. Okay. Ah, uh, well. Come back. You, you, and you. And for whatever reason, in case something happens, you... Okay, cool. Let's go. Now, I'm going to walk into town. I was going to go straight back to Clint's. But, we haven't bought our four seats yet, so... It would be dumb to not do that. Really, really, really dumb. But I will try and get it done quick because we've only got until three for Clint. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll go to 18. Go. 8. Oh, we had a frickin' money, jeez. Okay. So we can make grapes that way, but... Damn, dude, I wanted to plant more shit than that. There we go, that'll do. It's better than nothing. Dude, we got no fucking money. Oh, that sucks. All right, fine. Man, having no money at Stardew blows dogs for quarters. Wish I could use that little pot plant back there to grow out of season plants. That would be cool. Well, I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. Come here, buddy. In fact. That should be enough to hand in the autumn forage, so I'm gonna go do that. Heal you. And then we'll go plant the stuffs, water the stuffs, and we'll be good for one more day. Serious man. Don't have a freaking what is it? Blackberry? Alright, whatever. The two annoying ones are done. We're gonna have a lot of blackberries by the end of it, because there'll be like a blackberry season, which is like salmon berry season, except salmon berries don't randomly appear on the ground by the seams of it. Oh man, I think the second episode of She-Hulk is out today as well. Hell yeah. Hmm. Give me your garbage. <coughs> I'm gonna have to go get some katsu curry after this, I think. And that's like half an hour off yet. Oh, 20 minutes ish. Okay, what do we got? We have egg plant. Where is my sprinklers? Now, how do I make sprinklers? Find quartz, a gold bar, and an iron bar. Oh shit. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, kitty.
Wait. I can just walk through corn. Also, I should have put down fertilizer. Shit. Whoops. It's alright. We'll be okay. Where's our basic fertilizer? We won't grab that. Oh, we will grab a bunch of these though. Um, here we go. Also, why is that in there? Okay, 7 o'clock, we are running out of daylight. Hoot hoot. Okay, we've at least got a decent amount of pumpkins going, and we are going to need a bunch of those. I think, I think three? Oh, sorry, not three. Uh, I think a, a mad stack of, like... Six, uh, six gold star pumpkins, or iridium quality if you can get them, and some max quality fish, wins you the state fair every time. We'll see. We certainly will. I'm going to leave that little area down there to the bottom left for now because I do need to plant a bunch of grapes. Just double checking. Okay. using those for grapes. But we're going to need some money before we can even afford the grapes, so it's kind of a bit of a waste of time to make that. If I realized that we'd be running so low on money, I probably wouldn't have spent as much. 
dude, we do not have much time to get these damn crops in the ground. They're in the ground, but watered as well. So easily distracted. But there is so much to be distracted by in Stardew, god damn. But on the plus side, new season! And I guess, like, worst comes to worst, we'll only have to wait until summer for our, um, blueberries. But as long as we're getting as much of it done as possible, it's worse to miss something in, like, spring. I mean, sorry, in winter or something like that. Uh, hmm. might as well, right? Good night, Robin. Help yourself to what's in the fridge. Uh, yep. We're good. You can go in here. You can go in here. I guess we're not going to be cracking those open for a while, so you guys can go in there too. You can come out, so you're going straight into the house. Ah, uh, feels good. Um, bread and algae. So, algae goes in. In here? Bread goes in here. All right, bedtime. Then one more day. Ooh, I wonder what that sound was for. Journal updated. All right, hundred bucks for our staple or coop, I should say. Um, nothing to watch today. There it is. How much is it to make a wall? I mean, it's a bunch, but it's not as much as I thought. So let's just do that. Uh, we got 500 anyway, so screw it. Lasts longer than a wood fence. Most durable type of fence. Ooh. Oh, but it's... <laughs> right. I mean, this will be fine for a placeholder. Looks like we're going to be farming a hardwood to... Finish our fence off though. Okay. I need to give him a little bit of a yard so I can let them out. I'll have like grass. Oh shit. It's not what I meant to do. But I guess that's about right.
And my neighbors are being really fucking no uh, noisy, so I hope that doesn't show up in recording. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, hell yeah. Okay. Our coop is done. Pointy ones are the pumpkins. Cool, we've got a couple of extras. And it certainly looks like we're gonna have a fair bit of corn. <laughs> That's okay. Corn is money, baby. I'm gonna be salty as hell about those blueberries, but at least we got seeds, you know? It's just a shame that the uh, the pot you can grow things out of season in, you unlock from uh, unlocking the greenhouse, <laughs> making it redundant to get it at all, because why would I get a pot when I could just plant something in the fucking greenhouse? Oh, well. <laughs> Probably made that way on purpose, because it would have been clear that Motherfuckers like me <laughs> would have been like, yeah, well, there's my greenhouse in the first year. And it's finally coming along. I put Stardew off for a while because I knew it was going to be a big undertaking. But I think it might be a bigger undertaking than I thought. So close to our fishing rod. Don't know why I thought it wouldn't be $7,000. But yeah. So in this season, I'm going to double up those silos. And we will be filling them. Because all of our grass is going to die for winter. And it would just be such a waste, you know? Okay, croppy crop crop. It's a Tuesday, it's the second. It is Penny's birthday. She wants a melon. Oh, you can have this melon. Start building back up our seed supply by the looks of it. Uh, this way. Time to get a pretty nice array of stuff there. Mosses, bivalve. I feel like those are supposed to be in our beach forage. Maybe not. Because I've caught mussels myself. snacks. Tons of them too. Um, okay, so Penny. We'll go see Penny right now. Straight away. It's her birthday. Nice. I haven't read any of those books yet. Ah, hello there, Shade. You showed up at the perfect time. Huh? It's our new special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. Uh, Lewis, all you did was hold the nails. Ah, uh, ignore her. Now, let me explain. You see, with Delogany Farm back in business, the local economy has really been picking up. 
As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their businesses and personal projects. So Robert and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board where people can post bigger jobs and they then would make sense for the old billboard outside Pierre's. Yeah, for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. I won't put you on the spot, but if you can help me out, you can just accept the job from this board. Who knows, maybe if the bed turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. I look forward to helping. I thought so. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Shade. So, can we say that you're on board? Uh, well, I'm sure you're busy, so we won't keep you away from your work any longer. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Take, sh take care, Shade. I will take share, Cade. Penny! I don't have any poppies, but I have a melon for you! Hey, Leah. I wonder if I could make a cottage out of dried leaves. Yeah, probably not. You should try wood. 80 hardwood. For unknown reasons, the local supply of riverfish has grown to an unsustainable level. I need a local angler to help reduce their numbers. I feel like we should just be able to accept them both, but what the fuck do I know? <laughs> Uh, hmm. There she is. You remembered my birthday. Thank you, this is great. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jess today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Miss Penny says that I have to read this book before I can go play. Oops. What? <laughs> It's been said that a pirate's ship full of plundered gold shipwrecked here a long time ago. Oh yeah? I will eventually read these books, but I'm just gonna keep letting them stack up for now. <sighs> How am I gonna reach that letter in the back? Here, let me help you, Mr. Molnar. There you go. Huh, I could have done it myself. I can certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? Shade, you are watching us? I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. Thank you. I just wish George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. <sighs> no, no. I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. I was actually- it was actually very kind of you to help me out. That's okay, Mr. Molnar. I understand. Must be difficult to grow old. It's just a different part of life. You're right. We shouldn't ignore the reality of aging. I guess the sooner we come to terms with our mortality, the more time we can spend really living in the here and now. Well, it was interesting talking to you, Shade. I should go. <laughs> yeah. Into the trash! Ah, you didn't see me, Leo. 
Catch 20 riverfish. That is easy done. Um, I think our plants for the day are done, really. Give Penny her present. And... That was it, really. Plant the stuff. I did that. But... Check the beach, and then we'll get cracking on that river fishing, I guess. I am going to have to farm up a bunch more stone in the mines. And a bunch more uh, wood in general. But I feel like when I played on Switch, the way I did it was that I'd just finish off whatever energy I have on cutting down a few trees before bed. And that worked pretty well. <laughs> and to be honest, if we get the river fish done, like, that's a bunch of fish that I can sell. And who knows? Maybe the lady will have a blueberry for us when she comes by tomorrow. And on the 5th, we've got Elliot's birthday. So we need to somehow find a lobster. So he's probably getting... A sweet pea. <laughs> oh man. Really need to plant that um that thingy this season too. Harp. That's got to be our first cop. I should be fishing at that uh, thing down there. Easiest freaking fish ever. Really make a use out of this, uh, this little fishing spot. <laughs> That's a lot of easy fish. But not a lot of treasure. Come on. 
First treasure we've had in ages. I want it. Yeah. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. Um, I'm just gonna eat a couple of these. I mean, I will get, um, Robin her hardwood eventually, but 80 at the moment is brutal. Maybe after we've gotten our house upgrade, but I need to make $50,000 before we can get that happen. Sure do wish we had that greenhouse, huh? <laughs> On the plus side, this will be a decent boost in money. And we might level up in fishing again. Two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Literally one more. Maybe one of them didn't count. Catch 20 river fish, and somehow I've caught two. Radio. I guess we're going to be, uh... Damn it. <laughs> There's no freaking way I'm going to reach that. I wonder what constitutes the river fish. It's probably those, uh... These large mouth. Wait, no, I can't. It's gotta be maybe the chubs. Because otherwise, nothing else counts. Um, alright, so. Bustopiel? Oh man. It's like evening as well, so I got stuff to do after this episode anyway. Oh, actually, I'll double check that we've actually got one of each of these fish. That's a good way to double check. Whoops. Trying really hard to not sell our um our forage because I feel like we leaned on it a lot early on, but it's much better to build it up. And we should have a little bit of energy left that I can whoops, chop down a few trees because we're really going to need them. Down. All right, you trees are fucked. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I need to be planting seeds. And we got 
heaps of fucking acorns. There we go. I'll go the pine cone from the acorns and the maple. Yeah, that sounds good. Actually, whoops, no, fucking face the direction I want, please. I think I can double these up, and I am absolutely going to do that. Okay, so, whoops, not you. See, my idea now is that we do this. Since there's a space between them anyway, I might actually use the keyboard and mouse for this because it's going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Uh, and then we want... I'm sure mouse and keyboard is much better for controls, but it's a bit weird. Adaptive here. tiny bit of energy left and it's pretty much time to go to sleep anyway and wrap the episode so let's cut down some trees real quick. Okay, that's enough. Alright, nice, nice, nice. We got a lot done. We got our coop going. We uh, renovated our house so all of our boxes are sorted. We got a decent dent into our fishing. We got heaps done, man. Heaps. This was good. This was a good episode. Good night, kitty. Looks like we got a little bit of money to play with as well. Alrighty guys, I'm going to call out an episode there. If you like what you've seen, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes. And until the next episode of Stardew Valley, you've been watching Dude Go Back. Thanks for watching, everyone.